What's up there guys and welcome back to Dig It Detecting. So as you can see we have a ripper day in front of us, uh, a bit of cloud coverage however as soon as those clouds uh, disappear it should be a really really nice day. So we've got what 20 past 9 on the watch and we're just getting ourselves ready here. We've got the detector in, uh, we're just pulling out some of last week's finds from the weekend and some of the pennies and coins and what have you look we just moved house as some will know so um, everything's a bit of a schmozzle at the moment uh, there's sort of stuff everywhere 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 uh, anyway and look i'm not even going to take you inside the shed because it's just a mess Everything's uh, jammed up against one one corner and one wall uh, until i can get it organized so look I've been at it for the last five days, moving, shifting, I'm, I'm a bit over it. Uh, today is my day off, oh, and we're going to get out and do a bit of detecting instead, so a day off digging holes if you like. Anyway, we have a ripper of a site uh, to go detect today. I'm just getting myself ready here now, and um, basically um, spoke to, I went out, I went out detecting there uh, last week in, in, the, other, in uh, the other week's video where I was detecting along a roadside and basically um, we got speaking to a lady and she insisted that I go up to the pub up the road and speak to the publican about another permission. Well in doing so, uh, I spoke to the publican and in doing so, long story short, I got speaking to uh, an, a, a, basically a, a, an old bloke in the pub having a beer. It was only two o'clock but he was having a beer. Uh, that's neither here nor there but anyway, uh, he offered me up an old house site that he's got and he said, look, look, young fella, you're more than welcome to go there and uh, have a bit of a detect and see what you can find. So with that, uh, I got his number and I told him I'd get be in contact. And here we are uh, one week later. And I, I rang him last night, long story short. And he said, yep, look, I'll be out there from 11 o'clock onwards and I'm going to be hoeing thistles. You come out and we'll see you there. <laughs> now, I don't exactly know where I'm going at this place. Um, I said that to Don, his name's Don, and he said, look, what I'll do uh, is I'll hang a, hang a plastic bag on the fence. So I know the road, uh, I don't know where I'm going, but all I've got to do is find this plastic bag um, and basically go from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish getting ourselves ready, clean up some of these and get them out of the car and basically go for a drive and see if we can't locate a plastic bag. <laughs> so anyway, and look, Don will probably be on the beer when I get there um, at 11. He, he loves a beer. He's not, not, not afraid of cracking a beer, whether it be hot or cold, doesn't matter. Uh, whether it be AM or PM, it really does not matter. So lovely, lovely bloke, Don. Um, but yeah, he'll probably be on the beer when we get out there. He's a bit of a funny character. So we'll just see how we go um, and We'll go from there. Hopefully we can unearth a few few cool finds. As I said, I don't really know what I'm in for today because I don't know where I'm going and I don't, I've never ever uh, laid eyes upon this site. So it will be an interesting day and uh, a day out that I'm looking forward to after the weekend. <laughs> oh, well, looky here. We just found a plastic bag on a gate. Here we are. Let's go see Don. Okay, so here we are. We've, we've caught up with old Don and he's just leading us through his paddocks now. She's pretty rough going out here. He's driving a Commodore through the paddocks. Here I am in a four-wheel drive. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll, we'll cruise through, follow uh, Don here. He's not on the beers just yet, or that I haven't seen anyway. He might have one tucked away in the center console. So anyway, um, he reckons just around this corner here near the windmill. So, which is always a dead giveaway where there's windmill, there's water, and where there was uh, a windmill for water, there was generally a need for it and, and you know a house. So, okay, here we are. Look at that peppercorn tree. You can see some old brickworks. Wow, 
Awesome. We'll, have, we'll uh, jump out and have a bit of a look around. Okay, so uh, that was interesting. Don, Don's a character. As soon as he got out of the car, he had a beer in his hand. Um, so he's already drinking. He loves it. Why not? Anyway, let's have a look at this site. Check it out. Old cottage, peppercorn tree. Uh, we've got everything here. We've got a well. Um, well then, uh, yeah, we've got everything here. Really, really cool site. As you can see by this peppercorn tree here, um, that, that's well over 100 years old. So, yeah, really, really cool site. Um, we've got a heap of thistles here. No wonder he's out spraying thistles today. And we've also got permission to have a bit of a poke around inside the cottage. And even, look at this well. I don't want to drop my uh, camera down there. Well then. That's pretty deep. But look at the craftsmanship behind it. Like, amazing. I know it's hard to see in there. It's very, very dark. But look at that. No, you can't see nothing. It's too dark. <laughs> I was saying look at that, but then I looked on the camera and seen that you can't see anything. Anyway, really, really cool sight. Um... He said there's another well up over the back there. Uh, there's a lot of scrap and tin laying around, which look, it's expected for these sites. It's always the case. So we're just gonna work around it the best we can um, and see how we go. See how we go. We actually, um, speaking to Don, he, oh, a couple of frogs. I better put that tin back over. Sorry guys. Stay there. Speaking of Don, and we actually got a lead for another permission too. Uh, got the name and got the location. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna check that one out later too. Check this out. Old barbecue that they built. How cool is that? It's not that old. It's not as old as the house here. However, pretty cool. Uh, Don said they've used it a few times and it works well. I thought it was a throne. But anyway, pretty cool. Really cool. Okay, so let's just run through and see what we're going to run here for today. So, ground balance zero, volume 25, threshold zero, target tone five. They're all standard settings, as I mentioned the other day. And what we're going to do, I want to dig from 10 upwards here. So, that's better. Helps when it focuses. And so, uh, whoop, went straight past it. So as you've seen, I am digging from 10 up to 40 today. My recovery speed is gonna be on eight max. Uh, and generally, as I said, just because this is such a trashy site, I can see a lot of trash sitting on the surface already. So I dare say there's gonna be a lot of rust, a lot of tin, a lot of junk, lead in the ground that I can't see. So that's why I wanna run the recovery speed at max eight as to not mask anything. Um, okay, iron bias, where do I want that today? Look, I think I'm gonna run it too, uh, because it is a very trashy site. I'm gonna run it too, uh, and see how I go with that. And um, look, if I am not digging too much rust, I'll knock it down uh, to help me unmask more. Uh, coins and good targets, however, if I am digging a lot of rust, I might even bump it up to three or four. So back out of that. Let's get a noise cancel happening here. Where's my sensitivity? There's not much AMI going on out here. There's no power even hooked up to this little cottage behind me. So the only AMI I should be having today is my phone signal. Okay, so we've got our first good target here. And it's an old harmonica reed. Very cool. Very cool. I'm not, uh, it wasn't that deep. And it rang up as a 23. So I don't, oh, there's a bit of glass. Look at that. And look, I think I'm on the footpath now. So you can see the little cottage is there, the well is there, and you'd sort of walk up and you'd walk that way. And you'd also walk this way over to my car. You can sort of see. Oh, let me walk you back a bit. See the rock wall there? See it in a straight line? So I reckon this would have been the footpath leading away from the house. 
because there was a dairy up over here. So this would have been the footpath leading up over to the house. And you can see the edging there. And then you can see the next edging running up to there. And no, it's not a cow poo, that's a, that's a rock. Uh, and you can see this sort of going around there, which to me creates the two pathways. So anyway, just something I noticed. Pinpoint is in help me mode. Help me, help me. I'm here. Anyway, it's just something I noticed. And um, we're going to keep following this track up towards the dairy because um, this being an old dairy farm, it's how they made their money every day working on the farm. So milking the cows. So every day, twice a day or more, they would have walked from the house there up to the dairy. So with that, we're going to follow in their footsteps and see what we can't find. Um, hopefully they lost something and we can find it. Now I was just thinking to myself, uh, there's got to be an old bottle dump or dumping point out here somewhere where everything was discarded. I dare say, I'm going to put my money over it being over that hill there near that pine tree uh, where all that box thorn is. Anyway, <laughs> walking along here, minding my own business, just detecting away. And I notice these bottles sticking out of this tree. Now, they're not that old. They're not all that special. However, like I've mentioned before, finding intact bottles is always nice. Uh, this one's got Melbourne written on it. Trademark GH Elliot. Trademark Melbourne. Yeah, look, not that old. However, two complete bottles. And look, that spurred me to now keep my eyes out for more. So there's no more on that tree. Let's let's go for a bit of a walk while I've got ya. Oh, what's up in there? People will have seen my old videos where I check around trees and inside trees. That's exactly why, uh, because you just never know. You just never know. Old bottles will get stashed wherever they can, or thrown as far as they can. So, under this box thorn, let me zoom you out there. Under this box thorn, I reckon there's gonna be some bottles. We just gotta keep an eye, our eyes out and locate them. I reckon there might also be some snakes too, so we need to be careful. We are out in the sticks and stones today. Bottles, where are you? Anyway, I'll keep having a bit of a look around. Wow. I'll keep having a bit of a look around as I am detecting. I reckon there's a beehive around here somewhere too because I can hear bees coming around. Let's have a bit of a look over here. So there's two holes that have been opened up, one here and one there. I'll be running the detector over them. Yeah, so as you walk out here, it just becomes open, open land. So they wouldn't have dumped their bottles over here. Anyway, let's get back to detecting and see what we can find. Because uh, through detecting is generally how you find a lot of this stuff. Look at the old stone wall they've put up. Very cool, very cool. I could spend, I could spend the next hour just walking around this place without even, um, there's the old outhouse. <laughs> Found the old dunny. Ew, hasn't been used for a while. Found the beehive, or where the bees are hiding. Anyway, that whole tree is like bzzz, buzzing.
Funny target this one, 26. Seems like a long target. Don't really know. It's a very trashy site, this area. Uh, probably more trashy than what I anticipated, to be honest. Found a few of the old beer cans that Don's been leaving around. Old stubbies, VB. But we have had a couple of good finds, a couple of little harmonica reefs and what have you. And I can see what we've got here. Little old rivet. Let me zoom in. Just a little old uh, brass rivet. Nothing too special. Anyway, still trying to locate that first coin. There's something interesting I'll show you uh, soon too, is uh, we know where the old rubbish pit is now. We spoke to Don there and Don uh, explained to us basically where the old dumping point was. And we have full permission to, whoa, tripping over rocks. We have full permission to open it up and basically um, see what we can unearth, see what we can find. Now look, it is covered in rocks. I'll show you, I'll get there in a minute. Um, it is covered in rocks. However, uh, there might still be stuff uh, buried underneath. So maybe maybe a lot of broken bottles, but we'll see what we can find. Okay, so just something interesting I wanted to show you and something that I haven't really spoke much about um, and I wanted to talk about quickly is at some sites you get a lot of um, basically mineralization or content, uh, soil content in the ground that uh, interferes and disturbs the detector. So basically what I want to show you here is exactly what we've got going on. So if I go like that and swing away, you can hear it's as quiet as a mouse. There's no targets there. However, sometimes I'm getting a bit of falsing. Now, I'm well away from the buildings. I'm pretty certain, I'm, I'm, look, I'm 100% certain there's no rusty targets underneath me. But what the detector is picking up on is the soil. So if I hit, hit the all metal mode button there and fill up the rest of the screen and put you in all metal mode. Hear that? That's the same ground that we just ran over a second ago with that button off and listen. It's quiet as anything. Turn it back on. Hear it? Sounds like there's targets everywhere. Well, guess what? There's not. It's just telling us that there is because it's having trouble reading the volcanic soil, in this case, in the ground. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna go over to our ground balance here, uh, right there. And we normally have it set on zero. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna perform a ground balance and try and cancel a lot of that out. Okay, so ready? On zero, and we wanna pump the coil up and down just gently and keeping the same sort of rhythm whilst holding this button in, this uh, tick and arrow button ready. So, hear that? So by pumping the coil up and down and holding this button, it's automatically set our ground balance at 28, okay? And that's fine, that's where we're gonna leave it. Now have a listen. Isn't that much quieter? Looks like we've got a few targets there, but listen to the ground. That was very noisy before, and we've taken all that out. So I'll go back out of horseshoe mode, and as quiet as anything, and we're not receiving those false signals come through the machine. So I'm gonna to go to a noise cancel, follow up the noise can uh, the ground balance with a noise cancel. And we're good to go again. So just if um, you are having trouble working those grounds, I normally say don't worry about a ground balance. However, in this case, as you've seen, 
uh, we needed to do one and it's only going to help us uh, work this ground for the rest of the afternoon with a lot more uh, ease so anyway good trick to remember look what Luke just found pity it wasn't complete but yeah that's what we're looking for nice old bottle like that with the rest of it still attached I'm just doing a bit of a clean up here because he's got stuff everywhere and I can't detect with all this stuff laying around there's just too much going on way too much so we're just having a bit of a walk around and we're just going to try and clean up anything visible and obvious that we see and that's only going to help us out like this <sighs> And that. It's just making my job ten times harder. Put it all there. I think he um oh, he said he, he said he's camped down here a few times. And by the looks of all the blown up can and pieces, I'd say he's had a few fires down here and thrown a few cans on. And they've went boom. Hence why all this stuff is around. It's just never ending. This is the sort of stuff we've got to work through uh, to pick these sites over in the ground. And that's fine, but if we can make it easier on ourselves, why not? And what you'll find too is some of these big rusty items sitting on the ground. They'll actually mask if there's a coin sitting underneath it. They'll mask that signal and you won't even know it's there. So, right, we've got a bit clearer ground now. Uh, let's have another go. Okay, got a solid 19. Decided to dig it. Hit my bloody arm on these things. They're called stinging needles, or stinging needles, I should say. And they're a pain. So my arm is itchy now. They make you itch like crazy. Anyway, excuse me, we've got part of an old fob watch. Very cool piece. Probably have some writing on there somewhere. We still haven't found a coin. However, yeah, it's pretty hard going here. It's, um, as you've seen before, very, very trashy area. We just have rubbish laying around everywhere. So anyway, still yet to find a coin where... Nearly two hours in. Look at that. Little glass stopper sitting on the surface. Look at the bubbles inside the glass. How cool is that? Very crude. Um, that was a good little score. Look, I'm sure there's marbles in amongst here too in this loose dirt. Uh, anyway, a bit of glass. Not old by the looks. Anyway, what I was going to show you is the old bottle pit. And it's right here. Not far away at all. Now, I spoke to Don about this and he said, I said to him, you know, you don't mind if I uh, pull a bit of a part and have a bit of a look, would you? Um, see what I can see under there. He said, go for it, mate. Do what you want. Do what you bloody want. Um, we've just got to try and combat through all the rubbish too that's been thrown in there by other people. Um... But basically, he said this is where they used to throw all their rubbish. Um, so, look, there could be some, still some bottles and stuff intact down there. I'm sort of not holding my breath. However, we're not going to know if we don't do it, so we are going to do it. But it's not going to happen today. So, but anyway, as you've seen, the other well is over there. And, well, we've got another well here. So, we're just going to attack that another day. And a day that's a bit cooler because I dare say there's gonna be a snake in there too. Anyway, I'll get Brandon to clean that out. Okay, so we've got a really good one on the Equinox here. I'll give you a bit of a listen. <laughs> 26, 27, 29, 30. <laughs> Jumping around a little bit. Uh, it was sort of fixated on 26 to begin with 
Oh, I've got a cobweb on my face. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I was wondering what was tickle on my face. It was a cobweb. Okay, I can see the target straight away in the hole. Looks to me like a bottled top. <clears throat> Rosella. So Rosella is tomato sauce. So it's an old tomato sauce bottle top lid. So not the coin that we're after, unfortunately. Anyway, righto, so I've just had a bit of an idea. Just been thinking, like always, uh, thinking about um, possible ways to do possible stuff. Anyway, I'm thinking about uh, magnet fishing this uh, well. So I don't have a magnet, um, and I would have to get a long ass line, however, how cool would it be to see what would be able to be found down in that well? Um, I know bottles aren't magnetic. That's a shame. Because I'm sure there's bottles down there. Old Don's even sat a few of his beer bottles along the side here. So look, anyway, I can't even show you down there. It's too dark. Let, let's drop a rock down there, shall we? Where's a good rock? So, yeah, look, I was just thinking... I might come back out with a magnet and a fishing line, or you know, not a fishing line, but something strong enough, and uh, we might try and magnet fish this uh, well. Don't want to throw anything too big down there, that'll do. Two test rocks, ready? Do -do 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 -do. There's a pile of rocks right there, I miss them. Anyway, I'll try to do this without dropping my camera, and so you can see, see the water, see the reflection? Right there. Ready? I'll zoom in more. Oh, there you go. Wow, we can see how deep it is. Okay. Let me play with the zoom here. I want you on four. Ready? Watch this. That didn't really work as expected. <laughs> it hit the bloody thing. All right, we'll try again. It's deep. Anyway, it's pretty deep. Uh, I didn't ask Don how deep it is. I dare say, from what I can see, oh shit, I dare say it's got to be over 20 foot. So look at the, look at the craftsmanship. I can't sort of show you properly because it picks up on one thing and then the darkness comes in. But it's got like a step, a little ledge down there. Whoa, it's picking up my finger. It's got like a little, goes down to that ledge and then goes down probably another, uh, look, 20 foot. Hard to tell with the water, but um, yeah, pretty cool. I'm here by myself now too, so I better not fall down it. That would be awkward, wouldn't it? Don will come back and find me car here and wonder where I am. Anyway, we're going to keep going for a detect. We've got another hour left to go before we've got to get out of here. Uh, and then uh, we're going to work out a magnet line and a magnet and a line and we're going to magnet fish that well. Stay tuned. Oh, okay, we've got a something. Uh, I don't know what it is, so don't ask me, but it's a something anyway. And it looks good. That's why we've turned the camera on. It actually looks... Oh, looks like it's going to come out. Looks to me like it's a ring. Oh. It's not a ring. Looks like a little, um, there. <laughs> I don't know. What is it? I would have said a little, um, toy wheel off a car, but I'm not quite sure. A mystery item, not a coin. Bugger. Who knows what a 36, 38 is? Not me. Generally high uh, high targets like that. I find of those 44 gallon uh, bungs off uh, the drums, the old drums. Let's see what this is. Ah, of course. Or it's one of those guys. An old sardine tin. Look at that sky, would ya? What a beautiful day. Beautiful. 
you know, I actually said it was gonna gonna be blue skies today and uh, all the cloud will disappear, but just as nice. We've got our first little find for the day. Something uh, easily identifiable and something that we dig plenty of. As you can see, I've resorted to the, uh, the pick today too. Uh, I only just went and grabbed that out about half an hour ago because I'm amongst the rocks and it's pretty hard to dig amongst the rocks so we don't have to be overly clean out here. It's just a farm paddock. We'll fill our holes in and that will be quite all right um, but we're going to utilize the the cc pick so um that's where we were working over uh, in front of the car there can you notice this though see this cut out here so it goes from this rock wall and follow my finger goes along and then along Looks like the doorway was there, and it looks like you got another wall running back to here. But you can see that little pocket that's been cut out on the hill here. Let's go around so you can have a better look. You see that? Door. Wall. Wall. Back wall. Side wall. I reckon there was something there also. And the reason why I can sort of confirm that is, listen to how many targets we've got in the ground. It's just everywhere. And you can also see that little rock wall that's been put along here. Yeah. Anyway, we're just going to keep hunting around here. See if we can't cherry pick any of those good sounding targets to give, give us a bit of an idea of what's going on here. interesting side i will say that it's um it's got me questioning everything everything i look at oh what what was this or wonder what they had here or something there let's give that one a dig oh get the pick out of there uh, right, I eh? pinpoint it first because I think it's going to be in the surface. Yeah, it might be one of Don's beer cans. I found them everywhere today. Ah, oh, look at that. What was I just saying? Loves a VB. <laughs> uh, if nothing else, we, uh, we're cleaning up the environment today, which is okay by me. Because the more you clean it up, the more you'll find that the uh, the next signals start coming out, the ones that you didn't hear prior, uh, because all the rubbish was there. Okay, so we're just speaking about that little, um, what I presume to be like a little building there or something, a little foundation for a building. Um, and not far from where we got the other belt buckle, we got another belt buckle. Very cool. We're getting good at finding these buckles today. Uh, I only wish that had been a coin though. That was a, that was a solid 29, that one. Um, and he was just sitting beside that rock. So let's see, we've got... Look, one more hour at the max. So let's see if we can find a coin in an hour. I know. So that's where the belt buckle just come from. We stood back up and we swung back over. And we have a little harmonica. A baby harmonica. <laughs> And check that out, he's still intact, sort of. You can see he's still got the the reeds inside there. I think they're called reeds. Um, yeah, very, very cool. Very cool. Just makes me wonder what he looked like when he was um when he was lost. Pretty cool. 
love the old harmonicas because I often wonder, you know, did old mate um, wander down the paddock with it in his pocket and lose it? Or, you know, was he sitting on this rock here playing a tune uh, and did he lose it? That looks like a kid's harmonica. Um, so maybe the kid was sitting here, you know, um, waiting for his mum and dad or mum, mum or dad, whichever, uh, to come around that corner on the horse and cart and he was sitting here playing his little harmonica waiting for dad. So anyway, that's oh, I always often sort of think that stuff and try and tie it in with something. Um, it makes it even more special. Okay, so you would not believe it, but we have a third buckle. No coins yet, uh, three hours in. No coins yet, but we've got three buckles. Weird. Okay, so here we are across the other side of the track now. And it looks like we've got some more place stones. So you can see there, they've definitely been placed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can see there, they all run in a nice straight line. And they're almost faced on one side. Well, they're not faced, but uh, by faced I mean um, squared off. Uh, look, they're not faced. However, they're, they're definitely been put there and stacked. And then they've planted this wicked awful box on right beside it. Horrible stuff. Look at it. Look at the spikes on it. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. Crazy. I hate this stuff. Um, they used to plant the box, box on here as a, um, a natural type of fencing. Well, that's only just hanging there, isn't it? That was just sitting underneath it. Looks like it's about to fall over. All right. I'm still trying to work this side out. I'm still trying to uh, decide where the, the spot is to be, which I, I just don't know where it is. So, another couple of rocks there. It's sort of really hard to work out. Oh, there we go. That makes sense. See that wall there? You can't really see much under there. Look here though. It's very hard to see. Rock, 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 rock. See the wall? And it runs in line with that wall there that we spoke about before. I wonder if it was like a wool shed or something here. Because it is sheep country. Hmm. Problem is, uh, old Don, he doesn't know enough either. He's only been here for 20 years. So he only knows what he's learned in 20 years um, and heard off other people. So. All a bit of a mystery. So we've got another building structure here, falling down. But uh, another mysterious one. I just don't know what they all were. I know there was a, all I know is there was an old house and an old dairy here. Well, this could have been part of the dairy Well, there's another structure in there too. God. You know, it never ceases to amaze me. You know, I come out to these old properties and have a look around and, you know, a lot of them are abandoned, which is just what it is. But, you know, it never ever ceases. Whoa, tripping over the rocks. Another one over there too, by the looks. There's a heap of tin and building materials but yeah look it never ceases to amaze me uh, the human footprint that we have left on the world already you know we are a country that's not even 300 years old uh, with our civilization <clears throat> I'm standing on the rock fence and the human footprint that we have left here is huge huge there is you know as I said I go to some of these sites and um, and uh, I just look around and I think, God, who's going to clean this up one day? You know, because, as I said, a lot of these places are abandoned. So if they're left like this now, no doubt they're going to be left like this uh, for future too. Um, cow skull. Which, yeah, look, that's really sad because... Um, 
just polluting the environment, you know. Like, look at this. Like, I'm no, I'm no greenie. However, um, I don't agree with this. Yeah, it's just, it's just too much. Too much. It needs to be have a tractor or a, a truck or something come in here and just pick it all up, scrap it, and cart it all away. And be done with it. So here we are. We've got another building structure over here. All that's left is the fence. Another little cow skull. Yeah, so I don't even know what half these are. This might have just been an outshed. It wasn't very big, whatever it was. Don't know. Anyway, I'm making my way back to the car slowly. And we're gonna finish up. Okay, we are finished. What do we got? 2.30 on the dot. And look, I've got to take off and go get the boys from school soon. So we're going to wrap up and do a conclusion now. So basically, as you can see, we got the rubbish out. Um, you know, old Don likes to have a, have a VB. So we found a few VB cans along the way. Most of them were just on the surface. So pretty easy to, um, to come across and collect and pick up as we go. Uh, a few shotgun shells, a couple of bullets. Um, what else we got? The sardine tin. A uh, little brass plug. I'll zoom you in there, that'll help. So a little brass bung plug. Got the old harmonica reed. Another harmonica reed. I'm not too sure what this is. It looks like it might be part of an old um, kerosene lamp to me. When I found it, I didn't recognise that there was actually holes in the side. Uh, but upon cleaning, I can see there's little holes in there. So obviously to vent something, vent gas, vent air, something. So I would dare say uh, off part of an old uh, oil kerosene lamp. We had a little glass stopper. Uh, we just found him laying on the surface as we were yabbing away like normally happens Had the belt buckles uh, one two and three. They pretty much all come out. So this guy this guy and then this guy um, So yeah, you know pretty weird to find you know find no coins for the day But then find three buckles. So yeah, definitely a weird one. Anyway um, Got the little brass wheel. I don't know quite what that is. It's got a flattened bottom and uh, it looks like it's been either been swinging or worn on that one end. Anyway, uh, the old harmonica reef, only a little one. Looks like a kid's harmonica reef. Um, another couple of shotgun shells, a uh, little rifle bullet. Yeah, look, a lot of it today was just rubbish, as you've seen. However, we had a good day. Uh, it's not about what uh, the trash or the treasure. It's just about having a good day. So regardless of anything here, I have had a good day. I've, I've, I've explored a new site. And that's always interesting, uh, and I've made contact with the owner of this site for future hunting, and he's just welcomed me to come back. You know, I'm just pretty much shut the gate behind you, mate, but uh, you can come here when you want. So we will be back here. Uh, we will be back here again. And look, I don't know when I'll get back here, whether it be a week or two. Um, however, we will be back here. Uh, I'm going to try and tee up Brandon to come with me. Extra set of hands will be good, and we're going to try and clean out this uh, original well and basically look i did start cleaning it out as you can see there's a few rocks there and we did come across a few items just quickly little tumbler glass and looks like um uh, thin brown glass and being that sort of um size that to me looks like an old piece of a gin bottle uh you know so look if that was down there and that was only by pulling a few of these rocks out i'm sure i'm 100 percent sure there's going to be a whole lot more down there we're also going to come back with a, a magnet. Now, I spoke earlier before in the video, um, and, you know, I haven't really come across this before. Most of the wells that I find, they're all collapsed in, uh, damaged, broken. So this one is still in operation. It's still pumping water. So what we're going to do is, with permission, we're going to ask Don first, and I'm sure he won't have a problem. However, we're going to ask Don, and we're going to see if we can't throw a... Um, a line basically down there and do a bit of magnet fishing so get a, a a big strong magnet and a big strong rope and we're basically oh there's a nice little test rock we're basically going to drop it down there like so and we're going to try and retrieve anything that is magnetic that has been thrown down there because as you can imagine i mean this is all built by hand but as you can imagine 
There shouldn't be anything down there that's metal. I mean, you've got the pipe running down there, that's galvanised, so that, that won't be metal. So, you know, on a technicality, look, the pump, maybe, might be an issue um, down the bottom there. However, um, yeah, look, I don't think, I think we're going to, we're not going to pick up on any bottles and glass, uh, obviously. However, however, we might be able to hear them or feel them through the line. I know that sounds silly, but you can. Um, so, look, we're going to do a bit of magnet fishing. What's that? Uh, down there and see if we can't find uh, anything cool so stay tuned for that one uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, because otherwise you'll miss out on us magnet, magnet fishing the uh, the old well there and well then you wouldn't want that anyway I'll pick up our bottles that we left here before nothing spectacular however embossing ow ow Bloody tree's hitting me. I swear I didn't do anything to it either. It just come at me. Anyway, a few bottles. Um, Melbourne Bitter and uh, Elliot. Trade, trade E mark. Elliot uh, Bottle, Melbourne. So really, really cool. Look, that's probably what the glass stopper coming out of. Doop. A uh, little, bit, little bit small. A <laughs> little bit small. But that, that was basically what they did anyway. So... Um, yeah, look, hit that subscribe button, as I said, uh, be sure to follow us for future adventures. We are going to suss out a little bit more about this site. We're going to find out what, what building was there. Uh, I know there was a dairy over the back there, so we're going to find out what building was there. We're going to magnet fish that old well, and we're also going to clean out uh, this well, the original one. So, as I said, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to follow us for more, and we'll see you on next hunt. Cheers, guys. Happy hunting.